What shapes a really important game for the Adelaide Strikers. They are no good on the road. And they're up against the team, the Perth Scorchers, who are super at home. So we're going to need to see a little bit of role reversal if the Adelaide Strikers are to breathe life into their camp campaign here tonight. It's certainly not beyond them. And we've got a good game of cricket. So the Strikers win the toss. They elect to bowl first. The first ball. Just a nice start for David Payne. In Scorch's colours, and he gets away with one there. Well, that's exceptional. For a bloke to walk his way back in the team, having been out of selection favour for some time. To... So he stands tall and he holds out. There he is. What did you call him? The Urban Cowboy. The Urban in the Cowboy game. takes the catch. Lovely catch. Thornton bashing it in. Went the full ball previously and then hammered it into the wicket. Crawley's got to go for 10 off 14. And yeah, the catch it call is out there. It was going to take something very, very special. Gee, that flew. Did he get something on it on the way through? He has, and that's the end of the lefty. So Thornton, the man, getting the breakthrough again. Big wicket. Back-to-back -back wickets for the Adelaide Strikers, just what they needed. 31 in his first game back. Scorches, two for 50. You know, action and stuff, there's been a few changes and stuff there. Um, that's quite a nice hit, but yeah, just, just working on um, a few changes. Sure. Will, you, will you two have lived through this? Is that his... That's his shot. Shot. That's a beautiful shot. Just muscled through that offside field by Hardy. Cross seam up here. Has he got enough on it? No, he has not. And that is a huge breakthrough for the Englishman. Josh Inglis, who was trying to do exactly what Aaron Finch told us about a bit earlier on. He likes to use the pace and lift it over fine leg, deep backwards square leg, and wasn't able to get enough of it. At three for 96. So sweetly timed. Oh, it's just hard to contain, isn't it? And again, it's a, just a short arm jab. And it's eight rows back. You can't explain. So there's a chance here. It's gone miles in the air. It won't get to the rope. And the catch has been put down. Easy catch, particularly in Perth. What people might not understand, it's... Oh, he hasn't even got a hand on it. He's lucky that it hasn't hit him. Might have just got fingertips on it, maybe, and then hit him on the head there. No, it's all going well. It's clearly disappointing. and hasn't happened at an ideal time of the season. You know, it's such an exciting season. You know, have a look at the crowd behind me. Oh, that's gone. Knee high, full toss. See you later. Yeah, that's not going to get the job done to most guys batting. Oh, and he even gets that one fine enough to go the whole way. Again. And he doesn't get it to the boundary or over it, but he does bring up his half century. You just can't. You can't hold him back at the moment. Oh boy! Oh, just. Oh, that's gone. Big, quick, big unit, and he charged in off that fence, and it did for Aaron Hardy, who played a magnificent innings. It's 34 off 30. Scorches a four for 164. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's beautifully placed, isn't it? That is just absolute power. Then that has picked that up. That is a fine swing at the bat. And he goes straight down the ground to 
finish it off with another boundary. It is an outstanding piece of batting from the Englishman. And they've set the other mob 212 to get on the night the Laurie Evans fan club came to see something great and he didn't fail to deliver. Oh, absolutely. And he had, he had to bite his time in the tournament to really get a crack with the stick. Well, I'll tell you what, he's made it count. 85 off 28. Aaron Hardy, I thought, was fantastic. He just played a steady hand while the chaos was and the carnage was happening at the other end. Sam Whiteman got them off to a flyer. Henry Thornton, I thought, was good. He was aggressive, took wickets early. Jamie Overton, along with the rest of the attack. If there is a top three that can get the job done, it might be this top three, the Adelaide Strikers. It's a huge ask. I mean, 212 required from the 20 overs, but 182 required. And the great man got 113 not out in the chase. So you remember your mindset going into that one, Ferg? What, I mean, they are phenomenal. Here we know that. We've mentioned it a lot. But well, we've seen him make a mess of bowling attacks in this format of the game. And that's a very nice way for him to start. Very nice shot. Oh. That is a glorious cricket shot. Got him. He's picked him up with one that left him again. He's bowling beautifully, Berendorf. And that's the end of the lefty. In. But trademark. Get something to leave the left hand up. Extra bounce, extra pace in this Perth Stadium wicket. Just what the Perth Scorchers wanted. Early wickets. Jason Berendorf, how often does he do it? Well, no one's made more runs in the BBL against the Scorchers than Chris Lynn, and that is an elegant way to get himself off the mark tonight. That's the end of the third over. A successful one for Berendorf, one for 24. Scorchers batters for a long time at this ground. Oh, that's an unbelievable shot. Against his real nemesis, he just sticks him over the fence. It's one for 64. Gone! That's a huge breakthrough. Crawley read it beautifully. Pouches the catch. Morris gets the breakthrough. It's the end of Chris Lynn. Oh, it's a huge wicket. Chris Lynn has looked... In fantastic touch all season and then again tonight. That's a great catch from Zach Crawley, but... Yeah. Um, one, one thing about our, um, our group so far is we're just trying to... Um... It's still a fair... It's still enough. That's cleanly. Oh, that is a good shot. Beautifully hit. She stood up tall then and crunched that into the gap. 14 runs from the over. Two for 85. Well, he's got inside that and has picked it up beautifully. Big square boundaries at Perth Stadium. There it is. The neck. He walks at the one. Outside off stump and Morris picks up his second. Yeah, oh, this is a bigger wicket than it might just seem on, on face value. Adam Hose is a fantastic player. Wasn't able to get a great read on Morris here. He tried the lap twice, missed it. And then the short wide one with a little bit of pace off, just the 121. Clears mid off. Good shot. Yeah, it's a very good shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. You mentioned how still he stays at the crease, and that was a great example of it, Finchie. Well, that has climbed into that shot, Kelly. That is a huge hit. Ah, my boy, the Urban Cowboy. <laughs> that is one hell of a strike. What about that one? Stood tall. Oh. Well, he got it in the slot. He got it. It's the biggest breakthrough of the night. To mid off, and it's been a really nice over from Morris. He's read the play nicely, he's changed it up. <laughs> Catch that. Get in. Yep. And he has. AJ clutches onto it. Career that AJ Ty's put together, and it's another milestone for him.
Thomas Kelly, the Urban Cowboy, probably needed to go with it and back himself to hit it for six. He tried to roll the wrists on it. Flies away, catch is taken. He's hit hard lengths really, really well. Subtle variations, including a nice knuckleball that Finchie picked up on earlier in the night. Miles in the air. The night sky is the backdrop, and the catch is taken. Absolutely outstanding all night. Gave the strikers no room to breathe at any point. Subtle variations all the way through, and look at this catch from Connolly. in the air again and that's an excellent catch from the keeper length dive AJ Ty good bouncer on the money giving Thornton no room to move and that's an excellent catch again it's another sky ball oh and they put one down gets there with plenty of time, just not able to hold on. That's picked up beautifully by Pane. He's found the fielder, and the catch is taken. Probably expecting the full Yorker. Fortunately, wasn't enough pace on it to get it over fine leg. If the pace is on, sometimes you're able to lift it over the fine leg, but it wasn't the case. Clever bowling from... Jai Richardson. And that is that. So bang, bang, Richardson picks up a couple, closes this one out. Emphatic fashion, the Perth Scorchers go on their merry way. The way that's what it looked like at the end of it. Four for 211 was imposing, it was too much. There were stars all over the place with the team in orange. Matt Short was terrific. A lot to like about what Thomas Kelly dished up, but at the end of the day, they're a long way away from that Perth Scorchers target.